give us an idea of what Mibel as a company do? Uh, Mibel Biochemistry is a Swiss-based company specialized in research and development of plant materials for the cosmetic industry and we have developed a new way to use plant materials in a sustainable way. And why have you come to Rio? What are you hoping to see? What are you hoping to experience? Yes, we are highlighting here our technology Phytocell Tech, which is a technology to use plant materials based on this new concept in a sustainable way by establishing plant cell cultures. With these plant cell cultures, we can grow plants in a sustainable way in bioreactors without interfering with the nature. Many people may find it slightly unusual that the pharmaceutical industry, cosmetic industry, are involved in these kind of developments. Um, how, how important do you think this is for, for your industry? Yes, the cosmetic industry and maybe also the pharma industry is always looking for new plant-derived materials, uh, like new exotic plants, to will, which will give new functional properties to the formulations. However, these plants are uh, maybe not easy to get because they are protected. They cannot be grown uh, or cannot be cultivated or they are not available in enough amounts in the wild. So to cover or to, to uh, overcome this limitation, our company has developed this technology, Fight to Cell Tech, which makes it possible to get access to these plants without interfering with nature. Okay, could you give us an idea about what plants you're talking about and where this technology could be used? Is there a product we might pick up in a supermarket that uh, might use this, these, these uh, technologies? Yes, we have uh, launched these products in 2008 and today you can have find hundreds of different brands around the world using this technology. The technology works like that, that we can take a small piece of a plant like a fruit, a flower or a leaf. We bring this leaf back to our laboratory. This plant material is then cut, damaged and the plant tries to recover that wound with a wound healing tissue. This wound healing tissue is based on de-differentiated cells which can be considered as plant stem cells. We can then isolate these plant stem cells and can grow these cells in bioreactors in a sustainable way because we don't need a lot of water and we don't need the land. So because it's coming back to our bioreactors and the land is still available for agriculture whatever. Is, is this a very costly process? Is it an energy intensive process or do you manage to, to make efficiency savings uh, in, in those regards? Uh, we found that the technology after we have developed some special bioreactors is quite cost effective. However, of course, we had some initial investments because of the research and development. But now it's, it's, it's a very uh, cost effective way because these materials not only give access to, this to these plants, but also offer additional benefits because these plants themselves will give beneficial effects to the skin stem cells and by that we could achieve much better quality products than with normal plant extracts. And how, how give us an idea of how big this industry is around the world. Are you, um, are Mibel the sort of pioneers in this regard in Europe? Uh, Mibel Biochem is the pioneer in this uh, new technology and we are a raw material supplier and then the brand cosmetics will use our materials to make the finished products. And uh, to give you some figures, the, the turnover with these finished products will be something around 200 to 300 million euros per year in 2011. Okay, and you've talked about this technology. What is the most, um, what, what is the, the product you're most proud about? What is the product that you think can potentially do the, the best for the, uh, the planet we live on? Yes, I think the, our best product uh, is a stem cell line based on argon tree. Because the argon tree and argon oil has become very popular in the food supplement industry, has become very popular as an oil in the cosmetic industry, but there is a problem because the argon, uh, the argon tree is protected by the UNESCO 
and therefore uh, it's not freely available. So if you want to use more of this argon tree, we have a limitation. So with our concept, we can now overcome this limitation because we can take one argon leaf, bring it back to our laboratory, and now we can cultivate argon stem cells in large quantities without going back to Morocco and interfere with this cultivation of the trees. This is one of our, I think, best products we have developed so far. And you mentioned that tree. There's also the uh, African cherry tree, which is, also helps cure many ailments. Do you think that we understand enough about the plants that can potentially provide important cures or help with cosmetics or help with other products? Is there enough understanding out there? Have we lost perhaps our understanding of how important the ecosystems around us are? Yes, of course, to, to really get the benefit, you have to go the try and error way. So we have to establish these things, try it out and see really what are the benefits. We have one other product, which is also very interesting. It's coming from a very, very old breed of apples. And in the past, the apple breeds had completely different properties than they have now, because today apple must look nice, must be very sweet and so on. Uh, 200, 300 years ago, it was completely different because, especially in Switzerland, these apples had to be or had to have a good storability. That means you pick the apple, you bring it into your house, and it should remain fresh for a long period of time. And we wanted to use these old properties of these apples to bring it into cosmetics. And for that, we have to get access to an old breed. However, these trees have almost been gone, and there's only a few trees left, and this would definitely not give enough material to cover the cosmetic industry. So again, with our technology, we could take one apple of this very old breed, we established the apple stem cells of this breed, and now we can multiply these stem cells in our bioreactor, and we use these apple stem cells in cosmetic formulations where we could see that they have a very good rejuvenation pro uh, properties. Okay, and on a final note, we're across the road from the ma main Rio negotiations. Um, you're from Europe, you're working in the private sector, you're perhaps coming at this from a slightly different angle to other, other people here. What, um, what would you be hoping they would be talking about um, next door? How would you hope perhaps there's more recognition about the importance of ecosystems and the importance of the plants around us, the ones that the, I guess your company relies on to an extent to, to, uh, to, to, to sort of continue your work? Well, I think there are probably two uh, angles we can look at that. I think sustainability goes also into the direction of biodiversity, which is a, a little bit our interest, to use really old and rare materials to make them more commercial and then to bring out new products based on old techno or let's say old properties of plant. And I think an another angle is, of course, uh, if we go to more mass market products, that we have to find regulations and understanding from the consumers that the nature has to be protected and maybe that the consumers have to pay a little bit more for these sustainable technologies to do this eco-friendly work. Great.